What's up, nerds? It's your boy Put McGee here, back with another Magic the Gathering deck tech and gameplay video, and today we're going to be playing in the Popper event. Before we jump into that, if you haven't seen my last couple of videos, um, a minor announcement, we did just hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube, so let's go, boys. Uh, secondly, after that milestone, I decided to make a community Discord, so if you want to join that, the link will be below in the description and possibly in the comments below. It didn't work very well last time on this video. Uh, or on the video before, but yeah, we'll see. It'll be it'll be definitely in the description. So if you're interested on in joining that, you can hit that link in the description. Come on to the Discord and chat it up with us about the game we all know and love. Um, do I have another announcement? Oh, second announcement. I noticed on my last video also that it, um, the sound and my voice were not synced up very well, and I'm not sure where, you know, I'm trying to figure out where the, like, missed connection is on that, whether it's an OBS or my editor or uploading YouTube or whatever. So let me know what y'all, like, what's, uh, what you see, uh, if you're seeing any issues with it, uh, let me know in the comments below. And without, uh, any further ado, let us go to the popper event and start playing with my pirate, oh, I forgot to name this. Uh, well, uh, it's new deck number two. This is a revamped version of the Pirate Popper. Um, so here's here's what it is. First of all, let's name it um, Pirates Ain't Poor. There we go. Um, we got four Grasping Scoundrel, four Fanatical Firebrand. This is kind of an ag aggressive deck. It's a very aggressive deck, actually, but we have a couple of ways to make this work for us. Um, so we've got Grasping Scoundrel, Fanatical Firebrand, three March of the Drowned here because we can get two creature, two pirate cards back from our graveyard with this. Um, so this is very, very, very valuable in this because we're going to have to let our creatures die sometimes because we want to be, we want to be consistently attacking in and our creatures are going to die, but we can get it back with March of the Drown. This is a great card. We have four Shock because it's kind of hard to find premium removal in um, in the common slot. And Shock just really, um, it fills that slot very, very well. Um, so Shock is great for us. Um, we run four Kite Sail Corsair. This is by far the best card in this deck. Uh, we want to be generally playing Kite Sail Corsair on turn two. And then Pirates Cutlass on turn three and attacking with a 4-3 or 4-2 Flyer. Um, on the next on that turn so that's what is our usual win con because this is harder to block um, it does die fairly easily because it's only going to be ever a 4-2 so it dies to shock um, and and whatnot but if we ever need to block with it it can trade up when it has pirates cutlass on it that's why part of the reason pirates cutlass is so good is first of all when it enters the battlefield you can attach it to a pirate you control so you don't have to pay the equip cost as soon as you play this um, so you can just play it for three and put it right onto a pirate you control, which is actually super, super helpful. But after that, it does take two mana to equip, but we're not real concerned with that. Um, usually we're going to have a decent amount of mana at our disposal. Um, but this does allow our pirates to block up, um, to trade up uh, when they're attacking with bigger creatures, because this is going to give them plus two uh, to damage. Um, what else we got here? We've got two Fathom Fleet Firebrand. This is a pretty good, pretty good two drop for us because we can pump it up uh, to give it plus one. So that's nice. It's a good way to spend our mana in the late game. Um, but we only want to have two of these because we really want to get down four Kite Sail Corsairs. That's the. I mean, not, we don't want to get down four, but we need four in the deck so we can draw them more consistently. Um, we also have three Sirens Ruse. The reason we do this is it's basically like a dive down for our pirates. Um, so if they ever play removal on our creatures, we can exile that creature and then return it to the battlefield under our control. And since we're doing that to pirates, we're going to be able to draw a card with that. So this is actually super, super helpful in this deck. Um, at common, at a common here, this is um, <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. Uh, we have two Sailor of Means. This is another way to uh, fix our mana. So one of the problems we're going to run into is that we're only able to play common dual lands. So first of all, this is going to slow us down a little bit. But we don't always hit our lands right because we, we do have a lot of basics in here. So making treasure tokens is actually pretty nice. Uh, we don't have a way to sack them to draw cards, but we do they do help us get, uh, get our mana costs um, taken care of. Uh, so we have, we have two of those and four Deadeye Tormentor. This is going to allow us to make our opponent discard cards and put a body on the field. Um, because we're going to be attacking with, with creatures almost every turn with either Grasping Scoundrel or Kite Sail Corsair. Um, 
we're usually going to hit this if we play the Deadeye Tormentor. We're usually going to get the raid ability. Uh, we also have two Brazen Freebooter. We just need something in the four slot. It does, you know, it just makes another treasure token, but it's a slightly bigger body. It's a bigger body than most of the other... Uh, uh, pirates we've got and the reason we want these to have into the battlefield effects is because we have Sil sirens ruse so if they um, try to remove these things we can we can bounce them out we blink them out and then they come back in and we get the into the battlefield effects so that's very very nice as I was saying the main the, our main win condition is going to be kite sail corsair with pirates cutlass but sometimes it just takes a little bigger body to get there uh, uh, I've had a little bit of success with this in the past so we're gonna see how it goes today uh, since war is out so, none of these cards are from War of the Spark, which is kind of sad, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're trying to get those popper wins pretty quickly. So, here we go. We're gonna jump into some gameplay here. Let me know what you think of the deck in the comments below. Let's go. Okay, with any luck, we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna win three games in a row here. No problem. Uh, mm, uh, mm, mm. I actually like this hand pretty well because we can just go ahead and get our Fanatical Firebrand down and play the Guild Gate on turn 2. And then we can get Pirate's Cutlass on turn 3 unless we want to play Dead Eye Tormentor. So I actually like this hand. We don't have our blue mana source yet, but that is not too concerning because um, we can make do with just red and black for now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just play the Guild Gate and then attack. Unless they put down a blocker or play removal on Fanatical Firebrand, I'm probably just going to attack in and then play Deadeye Tormentor. Okay, so we are not drawing the lands we need. We're not drawing islands yet, but uh, we're going to be all right here. Let's go ahead and get Tormentor down. They could have a counter spell, I guess. You might be running Syncopate. Ah, not what I was expecting. I was expecting Essence Scatter, but Syncopate will do it too. So it's looking like Demir Control or something here. From Uber Rice. My man Uber Rice. Is Sinister Sabotage a common? We're flooding very badly. This is uh, this is pretty annoying. I'm expecting like a removal spell on Fanatical Firebrand if I play Pirate's Cutlass, but it's a risk we are willing to take here. I guess they could just counter this Pirate's Cutlass. Syncopate, yep. We resolve that. Double syncopate in hand. That's nice. Well, I guess we attack for one damage and play a mountain. So we have far too many lands right now. In fact, I should probably have cut down the lands a little bit. I kept it at 24. It could probably drop to um, to 23 or 22, but I was a little bit worried about our uh, like making sure we have the right colors. And obviously, that is somewhat problematic here already. But we're just we're flooding pretty badly. So. We just have to cross our fingers and hope we don't draw anything we can't play. Okay, so they're just drawing a bunch of cards. And there's another Pirate's Cutlass. That's actually... That'll work now when they're tapped out. Yep. Attach it there. We take them to 13. I'm actually going to hold some lands in hand just in case they make me discard cards. I'd rather have something um, not very valuable because we don't really need these lands on the field. Dead weight. It's highly unfortunate. Uh, we get a guild gate here. That's pretty nice. Hopefully we can draw into a creature now to play. They've gone through a lot of draw spells here. So this is a pretty, pretty weak start for this deck. Only having two creatures and one of them getting countered is no bueno. Yeah, Sky March Bloodletter is uh, not the best. Notion Rain. Interesting. Interesting. They... <sighs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, March of the Drowned is actually very nice. Oh! Syncopate exiled my... Um, cancel hang on syncopate exiled my dead eye tormentor so this only gets back the fanatical firebrand which is pretty sh uh, kind of a shame but i feel like we need to keep going so we're just gonna go do that i'm gonna play fanatical firebrand and put pirates cutlass on it i 
I'd be very surprised if he blocks this. Yep, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play another mountain, I suppose. Okay, so he's attacking here. Obnixilis' cruelty. You know what? We're gonna um, we're gonna Sirens Ruse this. This may get countered, uh, but it'll draw. Us, if it doesn't, it'll draw us a card, which is pretty nice. Artful take. So at least okay. We got him to play. <laughs> we got him to play double removal on our on our one drop, which is a pretty good trade for us. And my, you know, if you ask me, I'll take that trade any day. Um, I would I, I would have really liked to draw a card, but you know, these things happen. We drew out an Omnixilis' cruelty and an artful takedown, and they're still attacking. So that tells me they probably have removal. Uh, let's go ahead and attack here first. Before I play this, I'm guessing they're going to play some removal. Artful takedown. Fair enough. We'll go Sailor of Means, which also could get countered. Would not be that surprised if it did. Okay, nope. We'll go ahead and equip this because we have uh, nothing else to do with our mana right now. And we, sh we might as well put it on now. A March of the Drowned would not be a bad top deck. So we can get back two Fanatical Firebrands. Uh, an Island is a horrible top deck. Okay, the good news about uh, this is that Artful, another Artful Takedown does not kill Sailor of Means with Pirate's Cutlass on it. But Blink of an Eye puts it back in my hand. So they're stalling me a little bit. But I do get another uh, Treasure Token. Go drop an island in and pass the turn. They're still attacking, which tells me every time they attack, I assume they have removal of some sort, whether it's a blink or... Do they have a... Are they going to do Mephitic Vapors and Artful Takedown? That would be... Uh... Okay, nope. Alright, we're going to go and attack. And I'm going to hold up Siren's Ruse for uh, if they play any removal on Sailor of Means. But right now, they only have two cards in hand. I'd be surprised if they top-decked removal. Yep, so they're not attacking, which is totally fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's attack. I guess they block here. Cause, or if they don't, they die, unless they have other kind of removal. They could blink their, uh... Artful takedown, huh? Alright, we will Siren's Ruse. Blink him out. Which will allow us to draw a card, unless they play Counterspell here. And they don't. Resolve, and we draw Swamp, which is a trash draw. Uh, let's go ahead and play Brazen Freebooter. We want to have two sources of damage on the next turn, because if we have Brazen Freebooter and uh, Sailor Means with Pirate's Cutlass, we can win the game. Alright, now we can end the turn. And if they don't have removal, uh, we win. There we go. It was a bit of a grindy game. Not really the start we wanted, uh, but we were able to pull that out. So, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Let's go to game two, boys and girls. Oh. Alright, Chespa94. Ooh, I am a big fan of this. This is actually a really, really good hand. So we can go uh, put down Demir Guildgate, turn one. 
and then Grasping Scoundrel turn two, followed by Is It Gilgate, and then Kite Sail Corsair after that. We have all our colors. We've got our uh, aggressive start and removal and protection. We've got it all here. It's a little bit of a slow start in terms of our lands, but we're gonna be we're fine with that because I mean that's just something that happens in Popper when you're trying to play multicolored. So we'll get Demir Guildgate and pass. March of the Drowned is a decent draw because if they kill both of these, we can get them back easily. All right, Grasping Scoundrel comes down. They could have a shock or something here, but if they did, I would expect them to wait and play it on like Kite Sail Corsair or something. Okay, interesting. Let's go ahead and attack before we do anything else. Would not be surprised if they shocked this. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Kite Sail Corsair first. And then Rakdos Guildgate. I could have played Dead Eye Tormentor instead um, and ma made them discard a card, but I'd probably rather get Kite Sail Corsair out. Yeah, Knight of the Stampede. We're going to attack with both. If they block uh, Grasping Scoundrel, we shock Knight of the Stampede. We want to stop them from getting um, dinosaurs. <laughs> and having one in the graveyard is not bad because we can play March of the Drowned if they play more removal. So this is a very good start for us. Very good start. Discard a forest in there. They're flooding on forests here. Overgrown Armasaur. Whenever Armasaur. Okay, well, we'll put a Pirate's Cutlass on our Kite Sail Corsair. And just attack for four over the top. Okay, my fear here with the Overgrown Armasaur is that if I'm to kill it with. Dead Eye Tormentor and Shock, I'm going to have to deal damage to it twice, which will make two Sapperling tokens, which I'm not a big fan of, personally. I'd rather, I'm probably just going to take the four damage if they attack with it. Samut's Sprint. You know what? I think I'm going to Shock the Llanowar Elf. Um, it stops the Samut Sprint. It stops them from using that extra mana to play something from their hand and they concede there we go i'm telling you shock shock is broken in popper it's so good it's so good okay you guys oh yeah oh yeah okay demir guildgate Okay, well we can go Fanatical Firebrand into Demir Guildgate and have damage immediately. I actually like this hand. I'm pretty okay with it. Um, Dead Eye Tormentor is a turn three play. Yeah, I'm good with this. Right, Adriano. That sounds like a like a character from uh, well, Snowborn Sentry is uh, that's rough. We'll go ahead and play the Fanatical Firebrand. Um, obviously, we don't attack here, but if they play like a Sky Marcher Aspirant or something like that, we can kill it pretty easily. Okay, so they're going Boros instead of just Mono White, which is kind of surprising. They're shocking. Why would you shock a fanatical firebrand? What's the point of doing that? You wasted they wasted a shock and took one damage by doing that. I don't understand. Adriano, Adriano, you misplayed, sir. I'm sorry. Wow, this music is this music is new. This is intense. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's new. I don't know. I feel like I haven't heard this before. Okay. 
we'll just do that and then pass the turn. So shock here is not a bad draw. Not a bad draw. I'd rather not have to play Deadeye Tormentor without uh, activating its raid ability, so I'm hoping to draw into something else here. Impassioned Orator. Alright, we're probably gonna. I'm actually gonna shock that at the end of this turn. There's no reason for for us to keep that alive. Um, yeah, I think we go ahead and play the Dead Eye Tormentor here, even though we don't get its raid ability. They're stuck on two lands, which is pretty good. Um, and we can Pirate Scout as well. They're, now they get their third. Okay. Pyromancer. Okay, fair enough. I see you. Yeah, I mean, we can play Pirate's Cutlass um, on the Dead Eye Tormentor and just start attacking. They've got... They must have something, right? Because they're having to resolve every time I do anything. They must have, like, a Take Heart or, or something like that. Some one-mana white spell that they're probably going to use to kill my Dead Eye Tormentor here, which is really not the end of the world, because I do have March of the Drowned. Obviously, I would prefer to play Siren's Ruse, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, they've got, I know they have something, right? Like, is Take Heart a common? Moment of Triumph. That'll do it, too. I mean, they lose their Viashino Pyromancer still, so I'm pretty okay with that trade because I know that I can get it back. There you have it, folks. Uh, let's go Rectus Guildgate... I could play... In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and play the Sailor of Means here. Um, I cannot put a Pirate's Cutlass on it right now. I will save March of the Drowned for, I think, next turn. I have the mana for it now, but there's no real reason to play it immediately. Revitalize. Okay. I guess they're digging for more mana. Yep, and they got it. Well, okay then. Okay. Um, let's do... How much mana do we have here? If we put this on you, we can go March of the Drowned. Yeah, let's just, let's just do this. We don't need to play March of the Drowned yet. And this is a fine play to make. Yeah, alright, they take the three damage. Um, I guess I go ahead and play Kite Tail Corsair. This is, um, I think probably the play to make at this point. I feel like playing March of the Drown and getting back my Fanatical Firebrand is a little bit of a waste. What? Opponent, why would you put it on the Sailor of Means? That's the weak. That's the. That's the weakest one! <laughs> That's the one you can actually block. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, we'll put Pirate's Cutlass on Kite Sail Corsair and start swinging in for four with a flyer. And we can... Oh my gosh. I just realized what we can do here. We can... I can also Siren's Ruse, the Sailor of Means, <laughs> out, blink it out, and bring it back in. Yeah, this is... Okay. They've got to have some kind of a common bomb here. Warlord's Fury. So they're just trying to draw through to find something. They're playing such a weird deck. Hunted Witness. Oh no. They may play Take Vengeance. Yeah, this is where we play Siren's Ruse. That's why we save that. I wanted to play it on Sailor of Means so I could get the Luminous Bonds off of it. But this is very okay. Resolve. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put that there. Attack. Take him to 13 and get... I'm actually going to spin to the treasure to play... Wait a second. Ooh. No, I'll go... I'll do this. We'll go ahead and now March of the Drowned. 
Yeah, return two pirate cards. And play the Deadeye Tormentor. Pay the three. And force them to discard. Let's see what they got. What do you got? I know it's not land because you've been struggling for mana. Screw the critics. Okay, so they're trying to do like a Boros aggro in common. I feel like it's just tough. To, okay, fair enough. You take vengeance. Um, they must have a. I'm guessing they have a screw the critics. So I'm actually gonna block that. I don't want to take the damage and give them a spectacle play, because I've seen that they're playing Skewer the Critics now. Yeah, we can go Fanatical Firebrand and kill their soldier. Go ahead and attack here. If they block, their sub Snowboard Sentry dies. And then we play Kite Sail Corsair. It's all good in the hood, my friends. All good. Okay, so they were up to five. What do you have? Nothing that concerns me. <laughs> Pirates Cutlass onto Kite Sail Corsair. Fanatical Firebrand. I'm not going to attack with Fanatical Firebrand. I'd rather uh, have its tap ability. Than just attacking into the Stoneborn Sentry, but. I mean, you've got to block. They have to block now. Or, or they have to have some kind of removal right now, which I don't think there's three damage removal at instant speed at common, but. Um, they've got to have some way to gain life, right? Like. That's the only thing I can think that they're holding out for, is when I when I sack my Fanatical Firebrand, they're going to play Revitalize, maybe? Nope. Whoops. And there we go. Okay, I thought they had a Revitalize or something. For some reason, they were not blocking. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Well, we did it, guys. We did it. We got we got there. Three wins in a row. Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this deck. Uh, this was pretty sick. I kind of like this a lot. In Popper. Wow. Uh, that's going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending the time uh, to watch my video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to talk to me or any gosh anyone else in the community here uh be sure to join the discord which will be linked in the comments below thank you guys peace out